This article is about RNZ's international radio channel. For its domestic channel, see Radio New Zealand National. RNZ International or Radio New Zealand International Māori, Ko Te Reo Irarangi o Aotearoa Te Moana Nui Kiwa, sometimes abbreviated to RNZI, is a division of Radio New Zealand and the official international broadcasting station of New Zealand. It broadcasts a variety of news, current affairs and sports programs in English and news in seven Pacific languages. The station's mission statement requires it to promote and reflect New Zealand in the Pacific, and better relations between New Zealand and Pacific countries. As the only shortwave radio station in New Zealand, RNZ International broadcasts to several island nations. It has studios in Radio New Zealand House, Wellington and a transmitter at Rangitaiki in the middle of the North Island. Its broadcasts cover from East Timor in the west across to French Polynesia in the east, covering all South Pacific countries in between. The station targets Micronesia, Papua New Guinea, Fiji, Samoa, the Cook Islands, Solomon Islands, Vanuatu and Tonga during a 24-hour rotation. The signal can also be heard in Europe and North America. History. Early years RNZ International was launched in 1948 as Radio New Zealand, a subsidiary of what was then the New Zealand Broadcasting Corporation. It utilised two 7.5 kW transmitters at Titahi Bay which had been left behind by the US military during World War II. It briefly closed before reopening in 1976, under the foreign policy of the Third Labour Government. From 1987, the government faced growing pressure to have a more active foreign policy towards the Pacific region. It upgraded the station, installed a new 100 kW transmitter and relaunched it as Radio New Zealand International on the first day of the Auckland 1990 Commonwealth Games. The station adopted new digital technology and launched a website in 2000. In 1992, Johnson Honeymay was fired as the Solomon Islands Broadcasting Corporation SIBC Head of Current Affairs over his work as a freelance reporter in Bougainville for RNZI and other international media outlets. SIBC General Manager Patterson May was accused of undermining the principles of press freedom, and resigned as president of the regional journalism body the Pacific Islands News Association. Topic. Recent years In 1998 and again in 2000 RNZI won a Commonwealth Broadcasting Association's Rolls-Royce Award for Excellence. At a function of the Association for International Broadcasting in London, November 2007, RNZI received the International Radio Station of the Year Award ahead of the BBC World Service. The association praised the station for what it said was an ability and clarity of vision, and for the delivery of something it said was valued by audiences throughout the region. RNZI also won the award for most innovative partnership. As of 2015, RNZI has 13 staff. These include manager Lyndon Clark, technical manager Adrian Sainsbury, news editor Walter Weifel, and deputy news editor Don Wiseman. Myra O, oh, Colette Jansen, Damon Taylor, Dominic Godfrey, and Jeremy Veal serve as technical producers and continuity announcers. In May of 2017, Radio New Zealand International's RNZI online brand was changed to RNZ Pacific to more clearly reflect what the service does and emphasize its role in engaging with the domestic Pacifica audience in New Zealand. According to RNZ, for now, the RNZI brand will continue to be maintained on air through our international service, but domestically it is now known as RNZ Pacific. <laughs> News Aside from Radio Australia, RNZI is the only international state-owned public broadcaster covering the Pacific region. Its news service focuses on South Pacific countries, and includes news bulletins in eight languages. The station's reporters include Johnny Blades, Sally Round, former Pacific Media Center editor Alex Perote, Mora Tuilafa Taylor, Indira Moala, Koroy Hawkins, Koro Vakauta, Lalani Mamosha, Amelia Langford, Bridget Tunnicliffe, Mary Baines, Jenny Meyer and the wireless contributor Jamie Tahana. 
Vinnie Wiley heads the station's sports coverage, and freelancers are often used for on the ground reporting. The station's news service focuses on news that relates to New Zealand, and ongoing stories like natural disasters and political crises. It predominantly cites government and opposition leaders and the spokespeople of non government organisations and government departments. Marshall Islands journalist Giff Johnson is an RNZI correspondent, and World Bank Regional Director Franz Dries Gross and Victoria University academic John Frankel are regularly interviewed for stories. Coverage RNZI regularly covers the Papua conflict and interviews exiled Koteka tribal leader Benny Wenda on his visits to New Zealand. It has reported on Vanuatu's parliamentary debate on the conflict, Indonesian estimates of the death toll and West Papua National Liberation Army claims of militant arrests. The station has also interviewed members of the Melanesian Spearhead Group over the Army's bid to join the group. However, the station does not have any reporters on the ground. The station provides ongoing coverage of several regional issues, including climate change, rapid emigration, LGBT rights in Oceania, the development of Pacific tax havens, and the growing influence of China. It allowed other media to redistribute its ongoing coverage of Fijian politics after the 2000 Fijian coup d'état, and has covered the transition to independence in East Timor and political stability in the Solomon Islands. RNZI also gives greater airtime to national news stories from South Pacific countries than New Zealand's other mainstream and Pacific media outlets. For instance, during March 2013 it covered the constitutional crisis in Nauru, video of alleged torture of prisoners by Fijian government officials and a World Bank grant to the Samoan government. Programs Original programming RNZI produces most of its own programming, including regional current affairs, Pacific business and news bulletins in various languages. Some local Pacific Island radio stations rebroadcast selected items such as news and weather, and Radio New Zealand National, Radio Australia, BBC World Service and the World Radio Network rebroadcast its reports and current affairs programs. Daily programs include Dateline Pacific, Daily Pacific Current Affairs, Pacific Weather Forecasts, Daily Forecasts, News about New Zealand, Weekly New Zealand Current Affairs, News in Pacific Languages, World and Pacific News, Daily Pacific News and Sports bulletins, New Zealand newspaper headlines, daily headlines, Pacific Business Report, daily business news, Pacific Regional News, daily Pacific Current Affairs, and Pacific Music, daily music selection. Weekly programs include Pacific Correspondent, local political and social reports, Tagata o Te Moana, weekly Pacific Current Affairs and Music, the feature interview, Sports Talk, weekly Pacific Sports Discussion, The World in Sport, weekly Pacific Sports News, and Tradewinds, weekly Pacific Business. The weekly show mailbox includes DX reviews, solar weather and digital radio reports. Other RNZ programming Some of RNZ International's programs are simulcasts or repeats of RNZ national content, such as the flagship current affairs programs Morning Report, Midday Report, Checkpoint, and Late Edition. The station also broadcasts some sports commentaries of major sporting events, and includes a weekly program of hymns from RNZ Concert. Every day, RNZ International also broadcasts Te Manu Korihi Morning Maori News, New Zealand Coastal Weather Morning Forecasts, Morning Report Morning Current Affairs, Midday Report Afternoon News, 9 to Noon Current Affairs, Checkpoint Afternoon Current Affairs, Late Edition Evening Current Affairs and Radio New Zealand National Simulcasts. Weekly programs broadcast by RNZ International include Insight Monday, Spectrum Monday, Focus on Politics Monday, Asian Report Wednesday, Music 101 Saturday, Saturday Night Saturday, Hymns on Sunday Morning Sunday, and Sounds Historical Sunday. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Programs from other sources. RNZ International also broadcasts content from other program producers and international broadcasters. 
These include Parliament Today, the French-language Pacific Press Review and programmes from the BBC World Service. BBC Current Affairs show the world today as broadcast every day. Transmission RNZI broadcasts on different frequencies and times to different parts of the Pacific region, during a 24-hour rotation. Maintenance of the transmitter is carried out on the first and third Wednesday of every month from 10.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. NZST, sometimes interrupting the station's broadcasts. Regular schedule changes are made to reflect changes to the station's target audience. Its current schedule is 2.51 to 4 o'clock 17,675 DRM, Vanuatu Monday to Friday. 4.59 to 7.59 11,725 AM, Pacific. 6.51 to 7.58 11,690 DRM, Tonga Monday to Friday. 7.59 to 10.58 9,765 AM, Pacific. 10.59 to 12.58 13,840 AM, Northwest Pacific, Papua New Guinea, Timor. 1300 to 1555950 Pacific 1551 to 1659700 AM 9780 DRM Cook Islands Samoa Niue Tonga 1651 to 1745 9700 AM 9780 DRM Cook Islands Samoa Niue Tonga 1746 to 1850 11725 AM 11690 DRM Cook Islands Samoa Niue Tonga 1851 to 2050 11725 AM 15720 DRM Samoa Niue Tonga 2051 to 2150 11725 AM Solomon Islands 2051 to 2150 17675 DRM Solomon Islands Sunday to Friday 2151 to 458 15720 AM Pacific 2255 to 2 o'clock 17675 DRM Pacific Sunday to Thursday 2300 to 1300 coordinated universal time Bougainville Papua New Guinea Timor 2300 to 1300 coordinated universal time northwestern pacific and ASEAN is also available on satellite over singapore and eastward to the cook islands fiji tonga niue and samoa <laughs> <laughs> topic 